Hi YouTube, my name's Drew, and this is day 23 of my year-long beard growing project, Project Yeard. So let's take a look at my beard progress this far. First thing to note, I've been staying up to date on all of my supplements that I'm going to be taking. If you haven't seen the video on my supplements, you can click the card above here in order to uh, check it out and see exactly what I'm taking so you can follow that and hopefully recreate your own beard growth based on my results. I haven't done any trimming anywhere along my beard aside from underneath here just to kind of define the line, uh, but other than that, it's exactly how it would be naturally. So here's a close up. The left side, which is my better side of beard growing, uh, it's looking pretty good. It's getting, I'd say it's out of the beard scruff stage and it's entering the actual beard stage. I have, uh, you know, again, it's sparse and you can see that. And on the other side here, since the hair grows backwards, it's definitely more evident that you can see my face. It looks patchier, but it's coming in and it's coming along all right. I'm still faced with this problem where I don't have any hair growing down this area, but it does seem to cover up as the hair gets longer. So I'm not too worried about that at this point. Uh, just give you the overall take. Let's do a little comparison. So you can definitely see I've made some progress and I hope you're joining along with me for this journey. My hair's too thin. My beard just doesn't look full enough. My beard's too patchy. I can't grow a beard because it just won't look good when it gets bigger. Excuses. I have a thin patchy beard and I'm still going for it. For the next 365 days, I'm growing this beard to become the bearded master. I will be growing this beard, this long patchy thin beard to see how full I can make it, how awesome I can make it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate your beard's density. So in order to calculate your beard density, you're gonna need a few things. A ruler, a pair of scissors, some tape, a pair of tweezers. So first things first, I'm gonna take a piece of tape about this length and just put it down on a table like this, not pressing it too hard. So I've got my piece of tape and I've just kind of put a straight line here. And since my ruler only is in millimeters, uh, I'm gonna do one inch and that's 25.4 millimeters. So I'll just put a little tick right about here. So I know that this length here is exactly one inch. But in order to make sure that this stays, I'm gonna use another layer of tape over top of it just to make sure that all of the tape stays intact. Now I'm just gonna carefully peel this tape off of my table and, uh, and try to keep, obviously keep it as sticky as possible because you're gonna need that in order to go on your face and you want it to not move around on you. There's my template. Now to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna actually trim it down. As long as I don't trim anything into the middle center here, then I'm good to go. And there we have a box that is now one inch squared. Now I'm gonna place this little uh, template on my face and I'm gonna choose an area that's definitely not my thickest, which is usually around my chin region, and definitely not my thinnest, which is usually up around this side and uh, around these spots in my cheeks. Because that way I'll get more of a kind of a full representation of my overall beard uh, density. And remember, this isn't gonna be an exact science. It's not gonna be completely perfect but uh, it'll definitely be a starting point. I made sure that this line here is uh, up along the beard. You don't wanna be putting it up too high where the hair doesn't actually grow because again, that's gonna give you a misrepresentation of your beard density. Uh, so this is kind of the annoying part where you're gonna use your tweezers if you want to or simply just to count it by yourself, but you're gonna wanna try to do, count out each individual hair as best as you can. Uh, now generally, you know, that might take a long time and be really, really hard for people that have really dense beards. But if you're like me and your beard is thin and patchy, it shouldn't take you more than maybe five minutes just to kind of go over it roughly. Uh, you don't have to count every single hair perfectly. If you're off by a little bit, not a big deal, but just kind of get yourself a uh, ballpark idea of how many hairs are in that one inch square. So after counting each hair here, I figured I have 65 approximately. So I'm gonna go and just to double check I'm gonna get my, ask my fiance to actually uh, count them for me and see if she's willing to do that. She's six, so she may not want to on camera right now, but uh, just to see if uh, how the quality control is versus by myself versus uh, someone else doing it. It's always easier if you can get someone else to do it for you because you know it's a little tricky to kind of pick out each hair while you're looking on the side. But anyway, we'll see how uh, my number differs from her number. And as long as it's in the same ballpark, then we're good to go. I have a question for you. Are you able to do it on camera? Can you count the number of hairs, roughly, on this side of my face, uh, just to kind of inside the box here to see? I'm gonna, I've already counted them, 
I want to see if your count is similar to mine. So the one's just inside the box? Just inside the box. You actually want me to count out loud? No, you can just kind of... Mm. Do you want tweezers? I have tweezers for mine. You know nope. What? I'm going to say 220. What? Totally off. You're going to have to do a little more carefully. <laughs> okay, 90. 90? Yeah. I had 65. What? No way. Way more? No way. Way more. Way more. See, I couldn't see all the little tiny, like, really, really clear hairs. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Like, it's just... 160. Yeah. Huh. There you have it. 160. Well, there you have it. We've decided it's on about 160 is actually a closer number. Uh, she's, she spent a lot of time there kind of figuring it out. It's a lot easier for someone else to do it for you. So if you have that opportunity, I would advise to do that. So now let's figure out how you're going to calculate the uh, actual, the area of your face now using the same template. Okay, so it's not rocket science here. All you're gonna end up doing is kind of, you know, approximating how many uh, squares you're gonna actually have on your face in order to uh, calculate your overall beard hair density for your entire face. So I would I would just start by kind of placing it on your beard and then in counting one, kind of figuring out where that one ends, two, only do the areas where there's actually gonna be hair. You're not gonna be doing it up here. You're not gonna be doing it down lower on your neck. You're gonna just do it on this entire area here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, Okay, so I just did that roughly and I worked out to have about approximately 25 square units on my face. So now all I have to do is simply multiply 25 times 160 and I'll figure out how many hairs roughly my entire face will have. <laughs> So let's just take a look at a couple of pictures from uh, my beard from previous years, just so you can get an idea of what 4,000 beard hairs equates to in terms of visuals. And according to my research, the average man's beard seems to range from about 4,000 hairs to around 25,000 hairs. Looks like I got the short end of the stick on that one. Um, of course, it's hard to determine exactly how long my beard had been growing at these uh, points in these video images because I didn't do, been doing a lot of grooming and trimming at those stages. Whereas for this year, I'm gonna be doing as little grooming and trimming as possible in order to kind of figure out exactly how big my beard will get and how beastly it will get. So make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all of my yeared videos over the next 365 days. And make sure to try your own beard and, and uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.